What's up, boys? What's up? Good to see you, foo. Hey, Boss hey, man. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Hey, just call me Epic. All right, so, got something special. I just went to my parents' house, right? Dug this bad boy out of the, out of the basement. Yep, my wow. original frame from the 80s or something. Damn. Yep, we're building it up. Let's do it. Okay, so, like, what do you want to do? Whole ride, whole thing. Let's build like, it up. Like, you, some Odyssey forks? Odyssey uh, forks, uh, S&M cranks, uh, bullseye hubs. Uh, what? What's wrong? Well, you gotta slow down here, man. I don't think we could do that because I want the the pivotal seat post. No. You, Why? You don't get it. This is this is an old school frame. This is made yeah, in the so? '80s. So what? So look, dude. This fork, this fork is not it's it's, it's not gonna work, man. Look. It oh, does. What it, the it, hell? It barely goes in. And what the hell do I need then? Like like a pivotal post. I mean, like, it, like it, that. It, what what I, the hell? I, you I just can't. I thought it was a BMX shop. I, 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 we just can't do it, man. Whatever, man. Well, what else you got for me? Um, uh, there's a, there, we got some, but what not all. What about something man. like this? What about all these parts I want? Will it work on something like this? Uh, yeah. Well, all this new stuff will work on this, but 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 your old stem, it's not gonna work on this. Because it'll work on this. Oh my god. What is I with mean, all this nonsense? I, I'm just trying to ride, man. Well, I mean, you, we just can't, man. You're gonna have to just get a new, a new, all the new parts, or we're just gonna set this up, gotta go find some old parts. Only some of the stuff will fit on here. Let's do both. I'll wanna do it. both? I wanna do both. Alright, we're doing Let's both. Let's do it. Pick some parts. Cool, cool. <laughs> is that good? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> so Danny there was, you know, I hate to break his heart, but but we couldn't do what he wanted to do with the old school bike that, that he brought in. The old school bike he brought is an old school boss. And we're here to, to talk about the difference between the old school versus the new school. And so there's more than what you guys think, because if you guys look at it, you guys are like, dude, what the hell? Why would Fu tell Danny, hey, this is not gonna work? You know, why would he break his heart? Why you go through all this mumble jumbo? It looks exactly the same. Yes, it does, and no, it no, it doesn't. First of all, both of them have a top tube. Both of them have a head tube. Both of them have a seat tube. Bottom bracket, bottom bracket, drop out. That's fine, but guys. Let's look, let's get to the details, okay? If you look at the size of these, the size of these, it's different, okay? We're gonna walk over this way, I'm gonna show you an old school versus a new school whole bike, and I'm gonna show you guys, hopefully by the end of this segment, you're gonna go, ah, I get it, come on. So we got right here, guys. This, if I recall, this is like about an 87 Robinson. This is this is one of the homie bikes. We borrowed it. A little bit dingy. And this right here is a current model, Brandon Began's Heaven's Gate frame. This is actually, if you guys recognize it, it's a little Max Vutang. Complete bike. And now again, you guys look at it, you guys go, okay. Where, where? Guys, if I was to take this wheel and put it over here, it won't work. Some of you guys goes, obviously, the axle size on these, even though he has pegs in it, it's 14 mil. It's thicker than this. This is a little 3 8 The dropout on it won't work. But this wheel will work over here because the dropout on this is a, is a 14 mil. So keep in mind, 3 8 14. So how am I gonna make this work? We have little reducers. So what we do is we put the reducers in those 3 8 so it could slide into the 14 dropout, no problem. So 
this wheel will go on to the new frame. New wheel won't go on the old frame unless you mutilate this frame. Sacrilegious move, guys. Do not grind this out. This frame will devalue it, okay? The second thing, since we're in the back, look at this tire size. And look at this tire size. Some of the old school guys come in and go, okay, you know what? I want the latest and greatest new tire. Whoa, can't do that. Why not? Look at the clearance on this. Look at how this dropout is made with a giant, giant gap right here. And look at the race bike. Look at the old one. Look how small these are. Those are 2.4. This one right here, it is a 1.95. If I was to put a 2.4, there's no way that tire's gonna fit. But you can't put the skinnier one on that. Next thing, seat posts. It's just a pipe. Yes, it is. But guys, all the old school bikes, the diameter, the inner diameter of this is a 22.2. You got that? Write it down. Old school chromoly frame, 22.2. All the new school like this, it's a lot bigger, 25.4. So it won't go over this. But again, this will go over to here because all you have to do is put a shim. Now the thing that will work on both bikes is the crank. I could take these cranks and put it over here, this crank and put it over here. The only difference is, look at the bottom bracket. See how big this bottom bracket is? Simply, this is a easy way to look at it, kids. See this, this washer? Look at this. Same washer, but it doesn't have the bigger aluminum piece around. Because this shell is a lot bigger. That's, this is the old school American bottom bracket. Some, some of the current bikes, some of the retro bikes still makes that. But you know what? All the new bike, what they did was they got rid of the shell and they just pressed the bearing directly into there. That's what makes it a mid bottom bracket. So, well, Hey, Fu, how are you gonna make it work then? We're not talking about the bearings, guys. We're talking about the crank. If I, if I went and I took the crank, which is this arm and the spindle that goes across in this arm, and I was to put a, a mid-19 bottom bracket onto here, this thing will slide in, no problem. If I take this, this bearing out and I put a 22 American bottom bracket, remember, this is an American. Every bearing has to be American 19, American 22, or American 24. Put it, this crank will slide right into that. So that is interchangeable. But the sprocket won't. Now, if you guys notice, this sprocket is on the right side and Max's bike's on the left. That's not the reason why it won't fit. What make it won't fit is this little, this little whoop de doo right here, this chainstay bend. Look how close it is right there. Because this frame was designed for a smaller gearing. Now look at this one. You guys are probably gonna get dizzy because we keep going back and forth. Look how, look, look how this one doesn't have that little bend. If we were to put this big giant sprocket over to here, it would hit this teeth. Because look how big it is. That thing, that thing, that thing come out to about like right here. It'll hit this. So it won't work. Now some of you guys go, yeah, yeah, it can. And you do, yeah, if you, if you make some modification here and there, it will work. So that won't work. Old school pedal, new school pedals, they will work with each other, work with anything. They're all 916. Now brakes, granted, this bike doesn't have any brake mount. That's just the way it is. The old school brakes, these are Pitbull 2s. It's center mount right here, guys. There's not even a mount here. Even if there is a mount, the clearance won't work. Now, yes, if you guys want to modify it and drill that and get it to work, yeah, I guess we could make that work. But if you're not planning to do that, it's not going to work. So that won't work. New school versus old school. Did, did we ever do a uh, frame? We did frame, right? So if, if they went and they look on the which playlist. segment that was. Check there's a playlist. But they could just click right here. Or just click right here. Which side should we do it? Right here, they click right here. It'll show it where we'll talk about one inch 
versus one and one eight. The new bikes are one and one eight. Old school bike, one inch. I, guys, I'm kind of a little bit like lost today. I've, I've been super busy. I think the transition when they went from one inch to one and one eight was around 91, 90 yeah, 90. 91, 92 ish. Yeah. One inch versus one and one eight. So like you guys saw earlier, the steer tube on the fork is massive on this. It won't slide into here. So the new fork won't fit on this. But guess what guys, this fork, I could take this fork and put on this because they actually have headsets that reduces the inside to a one inch. So I could take this fork and put on here, but I can't take this fork put on here. Now they do make a one inch threadless fork okay they do make that so you can do it you can find it but to swap it it won't work so if you were to pull off a, a fork off the, our wall and put on this guys it's not gonna work headset wise same thing this is integrated the cup if you look at this cup if you guys remember you guys used to press this cup or some of us would hammer it in there Ooh, I mean just imagine like I did that guys terrible but this what they do is they machine the cup in again that is mentioned in that old video now this is probably one of the biggest things. Yes, this is bent. The homie rides pretty hard back in the days. And you look at this one, look how big that is. So this is the old school stem. Again, watch the old videos. It will show you the, about the stem. This is a old school one inch shafted quill stem. This is a threadless clamp. Basically this slide over a clamp. Can I put this stem on here? Yes, guys, you actually can. See, we're making some progress. Hey, Danny, we found, we found a way to make your bike work. Why, well, actually, guys, they have this little cool thing right here. Some of you guys are like, oh my God, my life is complete. The, here's the shaft, and up here, it's a one and one eight. So when you slide this thing in, you tighten it, just like the old school one, you could put a one, a one and one eight uh, threadless stem, and it'll clamp onto it. So you can put a new stem on there, but you need this little guy. Now, if you were to take this and put on here, it actually will work too. They make a shim that goes into the steer tube to reduce it to a one inch. And so you could use this, but why would you? Because you know what, they're weaker. They're just weaker, you're, you're just gonna get hurt. Now, the only thing on this bike that is, comp like I think new or old that'll work is the handlebar. This handlebar and this handlebar, since the clamp diameter of this is a 22.2, it will fit. You could take any old school handlebar and put it on any new school. It will work. Grips, you could take a motorcycle grips and you could put on, that doesn't matter. The front wheel, remember we're talking about 3 8 versus 14. Well, I know there was a period where they made 14 mil dropout forks. Not a lot of companies do that anymore. They're all 3 8 so you actually can't take this wheel and put it over here and this wheel put it over here. But the problem you're gonna have is the clearance again. This fork is a lot wider, this one won't. So I hope that helps you guys with understanding the old versus the new. Now I know some of you guys are like, well, you know what, I got this cool old school frame and I wanna just modernize it. You can, but you have to modify it a couple stuff. There's certain stuff, and you, as you can see through the video, that it will work, but for the most, it won't. If you guys got any questions, send us a DM or come into the store. Uh, you guys, the website, Alf is working hard getting it on there. I know it's not as good as some of the other ones, but you guys find stuff going there. Order some stuff. We're trying our best. Just bear with us. Some of you guys are real cool about it. Some of you guys are getting real nasty with that, but that's all right. That's all right. You guys like, hate, subscribe. Appreciate everything, you guys. Thank you very much. Danny!